Let's look at setting up a basic limiter within DaVinci Resolve. Most of the time I will process my audio using this type of setup, a, a limiter, rather than just normalizing my clips. Normalization is okay as long as you don't have any huge peaks that mean that the rest of the clip is actually left at a little bit low volume. Um, I've covered this in videos before, but uh, those videos used specific plugins, so I want to cover it in DaVinci because you can do it all within DaVinci using Fairlight in uh, as of version 14. So here's the clip. We've just got audio from a lav mic here in a dual mono track. I'm kind of 24 mil, uh, one one twenty fifth of a second. And you can see there that it's fairly low level. So what I'm going to do is go into, going to go into Fairlight, and here's my audio track. This camera will have. And I want to click on the right hand side here. Double click on Dynamics. And that opens up my dynamics window. I'm going to ignore the expander gate and compressor for now. The only one I'm interested in using is the limiter, but I'll leave it off just for the moment because what I want to do is just check and see what my rough peak value is. Of course, I could look at the stats of the waveform and stuff and find that information out, but for now, I just want to take a look at it. So if I just play this. Uh, 1 1 25th of a second, but I am on ISO 1000, which actually. You can see that it's peaking roughly at about minus 12. It's never really getting any higher than minus 12. I'll go a little bit further forward. In post. And yeah, so that's pretty much the value I'm going to work on. So if we say take minus 12 and just add a little bit to it, so let's say 14. I'm going to enable the limiter now here, and I'm going to add some gain makeup and that gain make the gain makeup i'm going to add is 14 db so it's going to bring up the volume of the clip going into the limiter by 14 db so there's going to be hopefully what i'm aiming to do here is have occasional bits that will hit a threshold and be reduced here in the gain reduction section the main aim here is to just get it so that it only happens very occasionally on the vocal and then we'll just reduce any sort of major loud bits you know like if he coughs or suddenly laughs very loudly or something like that next thing i want to check is my threshold and i'm going to set the threshold level to be one to be minus 15 so it needs to be one higher than the positive value on the makeup and the reason i want it one higher is because i want to have a little bit of headroom between the two minus one db headroom i want the output of this really to be minus one db i don't want it to be exactly the same as the makeup so i'll set this to minus 15. if i were to go any higher than 14 if you take a look at the top right hand side of the graph you'll notice that that turns red kind of lets you know that that's the case uh, so I'm going to set that to minus 15. So my gain makeup is, is 14. My threshold is minus 15. And then my attack, I'm going to reduce down to as little as possible. My release, I'm going to reduce down to as little as possible. Because when this does reduce, when this does act on the audio, I want it to recover very, very quickly. Usually, if, you, if it was acting all the time, that would sound awful. If it was releasing at 50 milliseconds, it would sound terrible. But the idea here is that it just does it very very occasionally and you just then it'll be kind of transparent to you when you hear it so let's have a listen and see how that sounds now just for a little bit depth field and i'm kind of 24 mil uh one one twenty fifth of a right so the output is pretty good it's not up at zero db we're not actually getting any gain reduction on this yet one thousand which actually this camera will handle okay and well, it'll handle up to 6,400. Just had a couple of little bits of gain reduction there. So that probably is absolutely ideal. There are some quieter bits coming up here. So we might want to push it up just one bit higher. And this is where you uh, you kind of regret not bringing a tripod, really. But I didn't... No, I think that's okay. So as you could see there, I'll just play that clip again. And if you take a good close look at... If you take a close look at the gain reduction section, you'll see that it just acts on it just a little bit. You kind of regret not bringing a tripod, really, but I didn't really fancy carrying one in this. So we've got 
gain make up of 14 dB and a threshold of negative 15 dB. So, I mean, if your clip was much louder than this and you only needed gain makeup of minus 5, uh, of, of 5 dB, then your threshold would be minus 6 dB or maybe minus 5.5. It depends how you want to set it up. But this is a really simple brick wall limiter, really. It's a simple way of controlling the volume of your clip in a slightly more dynamic and a slightly more sensible way than just using normalization. Um, hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. See you soon.